Hey what's going on guys, Toddy and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get FPS boost on PUBG. So as you all probably know, uh, the FPS on the game is bad, whatever graphics card you have, it's just bad in general and uh, I'm going to try and help you with that to improve the performance. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with NVIDIA control panel. So if you right click on the desktop you will find NVIDIA control panel. This is only for NVIDIA users, sorry AMD users, but this is just for NVIDIA users for this step. So we're going to click the NVIDIA control panel and we're going to go to manage 3D settings. So when we're on Manage 3D Settings, we're just going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to look for Power Management and make sure this is on Prefer Maximum Performance. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit more and then we're going to find Threaded Optimization and make sure that is on. And then make sure you click the Apply button at the bottom uh, when you've done all that. Uh, and then that should be good to go. Step number two, you're going to have to go to Steam your library and then find player unknowns battlegrounds i'm going to right click and then click properties and then set launch options so what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this in i will put this in the description uh, and i'll also put it underneath on the screen so you can either type it in or copy it in either your choice and what this is going to do this will change the shaders this will make them a lot worse but it should increase the fps uh, this will change the system memory allocation, which will use the system and uh, use all available cores, basically does what it says. It will probably use all the available cores which your CPU has. After that, you can just click OK and then we can close that down and you can just load it up as normal. Step number three is a program called Razer, Razer Cortex. Uh, it's a game booster program. Uh, it's just going to load up all your games. So we're going to look for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds wherever it is. Which is right at the top. Uh, you will need to sign in for this and make an account. So just make an account and then uh, it will just load your library. And then we're just going to click play. And this is going to release the RAM. It's going to save up your RAM on your computer. Uh, so this has just saved about half a gig of my um, RAM just for this game which is a good so this will probably improve performance for very low in PCs uh, and maybe high in PCs, I'm not too sure. Just depends what you've got running in the background. Step number four is we're going to have to go to Steam again, uh, library, and we're going to right click it this time, go to properties, and then we're going to go to local files, and then browse local files. Uh, this will open up a file uh, where your PUBG is saved, and then we're going to open TSL game, binaries win64 and then we're going to find a file called tso game application we're going to right click this and then we're going to run the properties compatibility and then you'll see probably this ticked override hit high dpi scaling behavior scale performance by uh, application what you're going to want to change this to is system enchanced and then click apply and click ok and then you can close that down and close that down and step number five is a program i like to use called car parking basically what this is 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 a parking tool which windows usually uses especially windows 7 so if you're using windows 7 this will probably help you out a lot so download application from execute file i'll put this in the description so you can automatically download it and then uh, open it up, extract it onto your desktop and then you just need to load it up the unpack CPU I'm going to run it as administrator and then it will just open up and then we can click check status and then it will find the cars which are parked so after it's finished searching you may have two or three, maybe four boxes um, it doesn't matter how many you've got, maybe one uh, Mana status unpacked, I've already done this before so yours will say packed, all you need to do is just highlight them and click unpack all and then it'll unpack them both or how many you've got. Uh, this will make a difference for definitely Windows 7 users, I know that. Windows 10, not too sure but it's worth trying because why not. Step number six is not for everybody, but this is just basically uh, for the people who somewhat want to overclock their graphics card. You can download a program called MSI Afterburner and uh, you can play around with these settings. These are the settings I have uh, on mine. Do not copy these. It's completely different for everybody, uh, but you will probably definitely see a massive increase, maybe from 10, 15 uh, percent of your graphics card, whatever FPS you get. So if you get like maybe 100 FPS, you'll probably get like 15 to 20 FPS more. 
Um, this does definitely make a difference. Step number seven is you're going to have to be on PUBG for this. We're going to go to our settings tab, then we're going to go to graphics. You can dial back the resolution uh, to whatever you'd like. You can also change the screen scale. So what the screen scale does is it basically like halves it. So you think of 1920 by 1080 halved. It's probably about 800, 850, 860 by like 5... 40 or something. I'm not too sure exactly what it will be. But um, you can just play around with this and just see which is the best for you. <laughs> for settings reasons, I just put everything on very low. Even using the GTX 1070, I just stick it to very low because I prefer the FPS. Uh, usually I just leave this around 100 and put everything else on very low. But this will probably make a definitely big difference. It may look pretty bad, but if it gives you FPS, it's probably worth doing. The next step is a very simple step. This is just basically keeping all your drivers up to date. So make sure that your Windows updates, anything really. So if you just go to PC settings, update and security, check for updates. Just make sure everything's up to date. This will also make a difference in PUBG performance. You can also check GeForce experience to make sure that your drivers are updated or AMD Catalyst to make sure your drivers are updated as well uh, to do the latest update. Uh, they don't bring out updates for no reason, it's trying to help you improve the game, optimise it and make it better for the user, so you may as well do it. So if you're at this part of the video, I'd just like to give you a huge thank you for watching this video, and uh, I'd just like to thank everybody who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. We're nearly up hitting 5,000 subscribers, and the amount of support, views, likes, comments is absolutely insane recently on the channel, uh, and I'd like to thank you once again for that. And I'd also like to say... Uh, see what FPS differences you get, like check like what FPS you were getting and like what's the difference after this video. I'd like to know, I'll just see if it's like worked for you and uh, hopefully these videos are getting through to you and um, that they work. So thank you once again guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.